I'm Mark Lanier with All Points North Lodge. And today I'm joined by Bryce Givens, owner of Elevate Recovery Homes. Bryce, thanks so much for being here. It's a pleasure to have you. Well, first of all, thanks for having me on, Mark. I really appreciate it. Um, I know you guys have a pretty big platform, and so we'd love to, you know, be as part of the community as we can and, and uh, introduce ourselves to everybody and reach as many people as we can. So thanks for having me on. But a little bit about me. I mean, I was, uh, I'm, a, I'm a native Coloradan and uh, grew up here, played football in high school, excelled, went and played in college. That's really where my uh, bad habits started to manifest and spiral out of control. Um, I got an injury started uh, taking some some painkillers and really that spiraled into you know just developing an addiction around opiate use and so um, after several years of really reaching my bottom everybody has their bottom I, re I reached my bottom uh, and actually went to a behavioral modification rehab which was a two-year program um, here in Denver and that program really changed the whole trajectory of my life uh, there we learned things from REBT, which is Rational Emotive Behavioral Therapy, CBT, CPT, very therapeutic approach to changing one's behavior and, and really learning about how uh, shaping your awareness in everyday activities can really uh, allow you to change your attitudes, beliefs, and emotions that then in turn change how you behave. And so in that program, um, I, I realized that I wanted to do something in the recovery field to be able to give other people the opportunity to change their lives and make a better life for themselves. And so um, this year, starting in April, uh, my girlfriend and I, we purchased a home and we decided to turn it into a sober living home. Uh, the reason why we went the sober living route uh, is because transitionally it's very difficult for people coming out of treatment and going back into the real world and so we wanted to provide like a safe and supportive environment that helps members we call it we call some people in the industry call them clients we call them members here uh we we feel that our community is family-based so we call them members uh, but basically wanted to give them the opportunity to develop like the independent living skills that are necessary for uh, you know, living a healthy life. And so, um, you know, you kind of alluded to the fact about uh, exercise and building muscle, being that I have a background in athletics and sports. Uh, one of the biggest things for me in my recovery and my journey was, you know, finding the fellowship in, in the gym with my friends in the gym and with nutrition. So I'm a nutrition coach and also um, a USAW trained weightlifting coach as well. And so for me, that was kind of my rooms. I wasn't a 12 step guy and we wanted to create an environment for, for people who, you know, aren't, aren't typically the 12 step approach. We wanted to create a place for all pathways, whether that's smart recovery, life ring, Dharma recovery, uh, church, 12 step, anything that's going to support our members to get uh, the most out of their recovery and then get enriched within the community that they're in. Um, and be, you know, a contributing, I know you hear that hot word all the time, a contributing member of society. Well, really, I mean, it, it is cliche, but it's very important. You know, that's the biggest thing that we uh, strive to do and, and, and at Elevate here is, is action. Yeah. So we're, we're built on four pillars, uh, basically support, accountability, structure, and the most important in our eyes is action. So that's what our philosophy is. It's about active participation in whatever group um, or fellowship that you choose. And that's why uh, we started this business. And that's, you know, that's what we're sticking to. So, so far, what have you, what have you learned from the work that you're doing? Well, I've, I've learned a lot so far. Um, we definitely work from, uh, you know, all different sides of the spectrum from different so socioeconomic backgrounds, different demographics. Um, so really, our whole intention is to meet our members where they're at, wherever they're at in their recovery. Um, you know, basically, you know, some, some of our guys are coming directly out of treatment centers like APN. Um, some of them are coming out of wilderness. Some of them are coming from uh, detoxes. Some of them are coming from the streets. And so I've just learned that uh, being mindful about meeting the members where they're at in their recovery and not trying to push too hard or like fit people into boxes has been the biggest 
uh, learning learning curve that that we faced so far. But I mean, it's great. It's awesome. I mean, it's really what we're building is an intimate connection with these guys to help them transition um, wherever they are in their journey. And so we created this thing called the elevation plan. Um, typically in treatment, you might see like a treatment plan or a case manager plan, something like that. Well, my job as I'm also a certified peer coach as well. And so we kind of implement the one-on-one -on -one strategies with our guys to help them develop some goals, uh, wherever, whatever those are, whether they're financial goals, employment goals, educational goals, relationship goals, um, skill development goals, any of that. So all of our members come in and they outline what those goals are and uh, we help them get on a path create a blueprint to start accomplishing some of those things. Um, so that's been the biggest hurdle for us so far, but also that's, uh, that's why we're in this business is to really develop those skills ourselves so that we can uh, better deploy them to whoever comes through our door. So. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. One of the things that I like about, uh, there's several things I liked about your company and you, uh, and one of them is your intentional naming of the company uh, rather than just another generic kind of sober living kind of community and company, uh, Elevate Recovery. And, and to me, Elevate, you know, if you look that up, it's, it's, it's uh, you know, Rise to Lift Up and Recovery, which really I like, is the action or process of regaining possession or control of something lost or stolen. And to me, that's just like a perfect encapsulizes, you know, exactly what we're trying to do in recovery is, is get back some, what we lost, and that was our life. Um, right, totally. Yeah. So um, what are some of your, you know, if you can, just a little bit, your overarching goals with what you're trying to do in your company? Excellent question. Well, so, I mean, that's a very, very broad question. I think yeah. primarily our intention is to help as many people as we can. I mean, really the fundamental, our fundamental purpose, our fundamental why is to save lives. Um, you know, like I mentioned, we have clients or members that come from all different walks of life and, and all different backgrounds. So it's really helping them transition successfully. Um, and we're big on, you know, community. I think so much in this industry, there's still so much negative stigma attached with addiction and recovery and treatment and um, substance use. And so what we're really trying to do is just be a positive outlet for the entire community, whether that's through art or exercise or nutrition or um you know we have some really cool projects going on with other people in the industry we're really just trying to be a part of the industry as a whole um and and so realistically i mean i, I like the last uh, statement that you had about us choosing our name and being intentional around our name and so we really think that language is is powerful and so that's why we chose not to go with sober living elevate sober living it's we are a recovery residence because that's how you know, your perception is your reality. And so um, how you view yourself, how you you perceive yourself is is very important, I think, in achieving what you want to do and getting from where you're at to where you're trying to go. Um, so I like that you brought that up and I appreciate that. Why why do you think sober living, a, a community like you're, you're operating, why is it important? So I think it's very important. I think that going from a place of, say, you know, a young man or a young woman who just uh, went into treatment and has been there for anywhere from 30 days to a year. Uh, really, in treatment, you learn the the therapeutic, the you know the theoretical uh, cognitive approach to maybe dealing with trauma or dealing uh, with the underlying issues of substance use. Uh, then that's great, and I I think everybody needs that to have an understanding of you know, okay, maybe uncovering some of the, the trauma from the past and addressing those sort of things and acknowledging them um, to really get you in a state of mind and a place to be substance free for a good amount of time. But where the real challenge is, is I think once you start to reintegrate back into society and into the community is about, you know, having a job. Um, you know, some of our clients don't have cars, but they have ambition to, to get a car. So it's like, Hey, what does it require for you to get a car? Is like you have to get SR22 insurance, you have to get car insurance, you have to buy a car, you have to have a job. You have, I mean, there's so many things. It's not just uh, you know as simple as going and, and purchasing a vehicle and then you're good to go. Um, so, so to answer your question a little bit more, I mean, I think um, you know it's it's really just important to to take what we've learned 
um, apply it and, and give people the best opportunity so that they can achieve success in whatever their journey is and what that looks like for them. Yeah, that's great. That's, that's outstanding. Um, well, obviously, I really like your company, Bryce, um, and I really feel like it's an important step in, in, in people's recovery because treatment is, uh, you know, super necessary and helpful and it gets things started and uh, the sober living kind of extends our time to get, get our train on the track and get solid with the direction that we want to go and get some experience and get some traction in really with this new lifestyle we're trying to uh, create. Um, so, uh, and the other thing that I like is that this common commonality between the two programs, APN and Elevate Recovery is, you know, the kind of a focus on exercise and you mentioned the word action and activity. I just think that's really, really important and helpful that we really kind of find new behaviors, new activities to replace some of the uh, bad stuff, bad behaviors that, that we did. Um, so before we close, any any uh, closing comments, Bryce, that you want to you want to make? No, I mean, thanks again for having me on, Mark. I really appreciate it. I think you you really hit all the points that are are super important and and where our value add is in the industry. It's like building that community, taking action, participating in your recovery, uh, you know, really wanting to be a part of this community. Uh, we don't like people that toe the line one way or the other. We're very selective about who we choose to come into our house because we're trying to build a, a solid culture. Mm -hmm. And so, um, you know, once again, I just appreciate you having me on and giving me this opportunity. And, you know, at the end of the day, we're here to, to help people out and to help raise the consciousness of the entire community. How can we uh, be as effective as possible? Um, and I think, you know, having that individualized approach, which I know you guys at APN offer and, and we like to offer as well, uh, is really focusing on the individual to create a life of purpose and value. So again, thank you. And, and I appreciate your time. Well, I just want to say thanks again to you, Bryce, for joining us. We're grateful uh, that you would share your story and in, in in with your community and everyone listening. Thank you for turning, tuning in. Uh, be sure to check out the episode notes for further reading. And we'll see you next time.